Hello everybody, my name is John. And I'm Ted. And we suck at video games. Possibly. So sometimes. I... We play for fun, so it's more of an adventure for us. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we're playing for Emblem. Yeah. And earlier today I was playing Dark Souls. Yay. And I'm starting to, I'm starting to be convinced that, like... I might actually have a bit of a knack for Dark Souls. Well, it's, like I'm, I'm starting to understand it. I'm starting to yeah. see. I'm starting to see into the Matrix. Because um, it's one of those things where it's not that anyone's naturally good or bad at it. You might be, but it's one of those things where it's more understanding the mechanics. I believe you brought that up in an episode. Yeah. At some point. And I think I'm starting to finally get a feel. See for that him. pattern. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is a miracle because I don't see that kind of shit very often. <laughs> Dark Souls is one of my favorite games. I I wish I could get into it. It's hard to get into. Because I won't deny that because I was very afraid to start playing it. Yeah, and well and it doesn't help that I'm not super interested. Hello Ash Ketchum. There are some things I'll just never understand. <laughs> she looks so sad. She does. I love the fact that they were like, how do we make a female teacher attractive? Makeup and the, Cleavage. like, well, and, well, f specifically for her, like, little picture in the corner there. Yeah. Um, the Marilyn Monroe mole. Oh, the beauty mark, yeah. The beauty mark. They were like, that's all a teacher needs to well, be high. She's also kind of a diva, so that kind of works, actually, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right, we can't train, so. Yeah, her entire I forgot that, I can't believe I forgot already. Well, we were... I'm fast editing between like, things. I'm fast traveling like five feet. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care. Um, but uh, what was I saying? So to do. I was saying something. Oh, but um, I I truly believe that. I wonder if they have a unique interaction meal. Mm. So, who? I think would like this. I truly believe that. Uh, um, God, what is their name? All of a sudden, Manuela. Was literally like they uh, Nintendo was like, we need a character to bring in let's do the fourteen year olds. Yeah, and they were like, let's just make a hot teacher, and that's how we got Manuela. Yeah, I love to do. Okay, they do not design. have a unique interaction. He is like, this. like a handsome devil. He's kind of like a pillar man. <laughs> you know what he reminds me of specifically? Yeah. Um, because of the way his hair f sits. Ooh, supports. Uh, Travis Willingham. Ooh, supports. Uh, from, uh, the voice actor, Travis. Uh, I can see that, yeah. And specifically because of the way his hair stands. Okay. Now we're going to just kind of watch the support because we have never seen this one. I have not seen this one. I have not either. Are you injured? I don't know, am I? No. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make this funny somehow. Yeah, because this Wow, one... this is like a stone wall of a support. Yeah, I'm what... I'm what... I don't think this is one of the ones that the update changed. Is Ingrid changed. the racist? Yes. Because her fiancé oh, was killed. Oh, this is interesting. Your apologies are empty, yeah. Uh... Yeah, this is a not good support. Well, in terms of their interaction as people, it's yeah. good as in it establishes who they are and how they feel about each other. Yeah, I don't... This is making me uncomfortable from a, player spe a player's perspective. Yeah. Elaborate? Well, I'm, I'm a very non-confrontational person. Like, I, I don't like confrontation. Okay. And this is literally a racist being confronted by the race they dislike. And him literally being like, You have a problem. Mm -hmm. Like, because. But you're, if you're not gonna let me help you on the bat, like he just said, if you're not gonna, gonna let me help you on the battlefield because of who I am, then you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Like. <laughs> As a human being, that makes me the 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 interaction of someone being like, "You're wrong," and here's why you're wrong, gives me anxiety. 
like tertiarily. Like I'm not even connected to the story here, but I'm just sitting here going like, uh, a confrontation I don't like. Because like. the thing is, in order to improve yourself as a person, are you gonna go to sleep? Did Sothis tell you to go to bed yet? Sorry. No, Nero did not tell me to go to bed yet. But, um... <laughs> yes, this is our first lecture, so that's why we can do teacher oh. I forgot we were this early in the game. It's... yeah. Um, but on the subject of a race, a character with, with um, prejudices against other races being confronted, you can't grow as a person without being willing to admit, yes, I do have yeah. this issue. And at this point in their support, she is not willing to admit that. No, it she's is a not. problem. Yeah. Let's see. We already know this shit. Yeah. Auto instruct, no. <laughs> Why would you ever auto instruct? Yeah. So let's, of course, teach. Do we really want to? Because he's not going to use writing, actually. No, he's not. And of course, he's level three. I mean, it doesn't what matter. Is, do you know what his unique class is called? Um, Great Lord. Oh, uh, but that's it's, lame. It, I told you, it's the most vanilla thing you could possibly get. Edelgard's was Empress, or Emperor. And Claude's is Barbarossa. A Barbarossa. It's so good. So, she's gonna be our dancer, yeah. so we need to increase her charm. authority and charm. How do you increase charm? Tea times, as well as level ups and certain items. Okay. Uh -huh. So we, we're literally going to be taking tea with her a lot. Yeah. Alright. Good luck, because I suck at them. I'm... Okay at them. <laughs> okay. And let's go with... I just want to do his. So, I believe he gets heavy armor as his other thing as a lord and lance. Which, so we don't need to train him in heavy armor, because he'll get it naturally. Okay. Although, so we can see what he, what we want to, him to be as actually later, so let's leave him with that for now. Okay. Um. Because I can't remember what skills the Cavalier line gets. Cavalier? Cavalier? D yeah. D yeah. D it's a good question. Um. Ingrid. Get her flying up. I already don't like her. <laughs> She is a dodge tank, though. Yeah. I hate characters like that, though, who are just like... And, like, granted, at least she has a reason, but, and like... And she does get better. And she does get better, but I hate characters where they're introduced literally with, like, a I am a racist card. That's true, like, yeah. It's... <sighs> Well, it that's can like be the entirety of Hoshi, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, Orion scum. Oh, God, I hate... I... The more you look back on it, the worse it gets. The more I look back on it, the worse it gets. But then again, my favorite of the three playthroughs was the Norian one. Yeah. Because it was literally like... Uh, who should I? It, it was like playing as a conqueror. It was Dude. super cool. Yeah, but you're still like, oh, let's obey this guy until the very last chapter. Yeah, and then we're going to fight him, despite the fact that we clearly thought he was evil the entire time. Or should have, at least. Yeah. Jeez, she has a lot of negatives. Well, you only need her to be a healer. Yeah, I know, but oh my god, she has like five. Well, why would a woman who doesn't like fighting... Her her whole thing is that she does not like fighting. She was raised in a church, she wants to work to help heal people. What's the pointing? That is our professor expertise. Oh, right. God, it's been a while. And of course, holy women in this, in this game in particular are okay with fighting, though. Yeah. As we've seen with Seros herself. Yeah. Should we already start working on her black magic as well? Probably, yeah. Okay. Let's see, goals. Lance and authority. Yeah, I can do I can live with that. This is good. Uh let's just do sword for now. Just sword. Just, just sword. sword. Just Monica. <laughs> <laughs> well meet a Monica loved, soon enough. I loved that game. Because yeah, it is. Yeah, that's right. His is the hidden talent, as Lance. Yeah, it subverted your expectations Let's go with so bow well. And writing. Okay, I still say we get Bernius if we can. Because he might actually be a good good thief too, if we need it. Yeah. It also fits his backstory, having been adopted as a street rat. <laughs> um, Lance. Writing. Oh, Aladdin. Yeah. That took me a sec. Sorry. 
That was a okay, dumb. Black magic and, and authority and sword and let's go with lance. Or actually, since she's going to be using lance, give her axe and flying. Yeah, we were doing lance and axe, right? Axe and flying. Oh, you, don't right. get, you can't get flying until you're ready for the class. Yeah. Until you're in the class, so. Fun fact for the audience, um, I Good never task. clicked on goals because I thought it was just reviewing the goals. I didn't know you could set watch. custom goals. In grid, maybe. So, Weeding. in my Golden Deer playthrough, I'm, like, setting everybody's goals, and I was like, Ted, I didn't know you could do this, and his first reaction was, are you serious? <laughs> you were so disappointed I in was me. very disappointed. <laughs> I, okay. I didn't know. In lecture. I have a question. Uh, I might have an answer. Uh... Lectures about strategy or reason require so much focus, I end up absolutely famished. But if I go if I go to class after a big meal, I can't help but get sleepy. Um, I feel like bring along a snack. Just bring along case. a snack just in case is probably the best one. Yeah, there we go. It was the best one. And then Mercedes is going to nod in the background. Watch it. Yep. Giggles a bit, yeah. Uh, she giggles. But yeah, I love Bernie's design. And like here, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm. We're not putting this in the episode because it's private. But I'm gonna pull yeah. up a picture of my girlfriend so Ted can see. Uh, I've met her, but I can never remember. I've not, I've not interacted with her long enough to actually remember what she looks like. Yeah, we. She's not in town a lot. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you're right. She does look a lot like Bernie. Um, her hair's a lot straighter than Bernie's though. So like every time I see Bernadetta, I'm like. Gosh. I think we missed a don't eat the weeds thing because I think that's something that happens between Dimitri and Dado. Oh my god! I've seen a reference like "Don't eat the weeds, my lord" or something. Don't eat the weeds. Okay, rally resistance. There we go. Because her the rallies stack on top of each other. I think rallies are huge and so so. For, and she has rally for, movement as S rank. For those who are uninitiated, Raphael's birthday. Yes, we'll buy we him flowers. We gotta buy him flowers. He's our best boy. Um, for he those who are wonderful... uninitiated slash haven't played for Framblem before, only have battles. Oh yeah, here we go. Wait. Um, no, I need to save also. Okay. Um, for those who haven't played Framblem or the uninitiated, uh, was I? What were you... battles? Raphael, I don't know. It was earlier. I'm I'm gonna remember. Yeah. At like 3 a.m., I'm gonna like <laughs> bolt out of bed and I'm gonna be like blah 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 because that's how my brain works. God, it was important too. Something about the uninitiated, and I can't remember. Yeah. But what? Oh, 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 damn! We, we this is this happens quite frequently for both of us. By the way, is brain farts. We both have. We both have poo brain. <laughs> as I spit all over my microphone mm -hmm. by accident. Um, I know all of this. But, uh, God, this is going to drive me crazy, so I'm just going to forget about it. Um, but yeah, we finally get into another fight, because Framblem is literally 99.9% .9 social encounters now. Yeah. Social links, go! <laughs> what? Just that. Social links go. Social links go. I love how you like instantly knew where you wanted everybody to be. Let's see. Stay focused. Uh, well, don't forget to check the radius on the attackers. Right there we go. So, so the this is where Ted gets really focused, and I try and hold a and conversation with you guys. They um, can go into the bushes if I go there, and I don't want to give them that. Yeah. I'll cut through. Fine. Um, but Which this I is, do? this is the bread and butter of Fire Emblem games, which is to say, you, is tactical combat. Right. So, Ted and I are both not 100% good at this. No. There is a method, like, if you understand tactics, you are much better equipped for these games. And, like, I played some of the Final Fantasy Tactics games, and those are much harder than most of the yeah, Fire games are. I've played. I'm horrible at those. I'm not gonna lie, I do shit for all. Final and Fantasy course, Tactics both... is... It's a great game, don't get me wrong. It's an amazing game, but it's one of the hardest tactical games that I've ever played. I've, I don't play a lot of tactics <laughs> games. Just because I'm not well, super good at, at them. we're both missing. Um, but I usually love the story. 
Um, there was a there was a tactics game that I really really enjoyed. That was about being like a commander of like an art and like a modern army, where you like controlled tanks and planes and boats and oh was that oh, which, which one was that Battalion Wars? Battalion Wars, yeah, God. But it was like a, a real time tactics. Was it real time? I think so. It was it was more closer to it. Maybe I don't remember. It's been so long, but those games I always super enjoyed because they were. Ugh. Because they were legitimately difficult. Yeah. Um, but like. And they had choosable difficulties and stuff. Yeah. And... Whereas, like, <laughs> Final Fantasy Tactics. I. It granted. <laughs> I may be wrong because it's been actual eons since I've played Final Fantasy Tactics. Ugh. In the, I'm gonna have to move them out of the oh bushes. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to move everyone out of the bushes. Yeah. Um, it's been actual eons since I've played a Final Fantasy Tactics game, but, like, I specifically re and so I may totally be wrong. Felix is an absolute monster. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, but, um, I don't spades, remember spades, spades, there spades. being- No! <laughs> <laughs> Everything he didn't need. Yeah. I don't actually Charm has remember- no reason to be on Felix. There's yeah. no reason for him to have it. I don't actually remember there being a difficulty setting on Fire Emblem Tactics. Fire Emblem Tactics? It, or, sorry, Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, it might have just been, like, one and done. I can't remember. It's been so long. Yeah. It's been so long. We, we might have to see if we can port or emulate or something. Yeah. I'm sure they ported Final yeah, Fantasy Tactics to the it. Nintendo shop. Mm -hmm. If they haven't, they're idiots. Yeah. This Final Fantasy it's one of the most one of the most popular of all the Final Fantasy titles. It's a wonder, and it's part of the evil evilese. I don't know how you say evilese. That's that I always said evilese because that's the same. It it existed before twelve, but it's in the same world as twelve. Yeah, and that's one of my favorite ones because the heroes aren't, um, they aren't just goody two shoes. Oh, I'm gonna banish noble or something. No, they're just street rats who want to become sky pirates. Yeah. Which I really think is cool. I never played 12. In fact, everybody everybody harps on me for this. Um, all of my friends who are big Final Fantasy dorks harp on me for this. Um, I didn't play a Final Fantasy game until I borrowed three on the DS from you. And then the only big title I played on a console was 15. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I only played seven all the way through recently, um, and those are the only Final Fantasy games I've ever played. No, I have quite a bit more experience. Than, I've yeah. played three, seven, main of the main and titles, fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Whereas I've played so many of them. Yeah. Well, and you're you're also just a big Final Fantasy. Player. I, I didn't get into I didn't get into turn based RPGs I mean, three, until really late. Three was my first, but it wasn't like it was um. That difficulty spike at the end of the game though, am I right? At three? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah, because like well, actually, the entire game like, goes pretty much well, without like necessary grinding. Unless you use glitches to get no nothing but shuriken and have ninjas throwing them constantly. Yeah. Uh, but like seriously, it's um like there there's literally the last dungeon is surprisingly difficult compared to the rest of it. Like you don't have to it, in the DS remake at least. Yeah, you don't really have to grind up until that point. And then all of a sudden it's like, what? just happened kind of thing it just the difficulty spikes all of a sudden but we're not talking about fi f f about um final fantasy here yeah. we're talking about <gasps> a framblem and since we're talking about framblem we should also probably talk about how it's <sighs> the end of the episode <laughs> getting oh is it yeah oh shit all right everybody oh. we will talk to you next time and by next time, I mean we're probably gonna restart this whole battle. Nah, we'll we'll do a bookmark save. Yeah. All let's, right. Let's uh, in fact, act. I don't remember how you do that. Bookmark.
Okay. Yeah. All right, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.